Okay, example 2. Express 2 cos theta plus 3 sin theta as r cos theta minus alpha. Determine r and alpha. Then, solve 2 cos theta plus 3 sin theta equals to 1 for theta between 0 degree to 360 degree. Okay. For example 2, we can use r cos theta minus alpha. Example 1, we use r sin theta. Okay. Example 1, r sin theta plus alpha. So, example 2, we use r cos theta minus alpha. Okay. First step, let cos theta plus 3 sin theta is equals to r cos theta minus alpha. Okay, next. We change cos theta minus alpha to compound angle. Cos theta cos alpha plus sin theta sin alpha okay expand r cos theta cos alpha plus R sin theta sin alpha. Okay. And then we compare by comparing coefficient of cos theta and sin theta for left hand side and right hand side okay by comparing r cos alpha equals to 2 as equation 1 and r sin alpha equals to 3 for equation 2. Okay. Next, we continue with to find the angle for alpha. So, equation 2 divide by equation equation 1. So, R over R, we can cancel. So, sine alpha over cos alpha, we can get tangent alpha equals to 3 over 2. So, alpha is 56.31 degree. Okay. So, alpha still acute angle between 0 degree to 90 degree. Okay, next. We can find the value of R. Okay, to find R. Okay, equation 1 square plus equation 2 square. Okay, so 
equation 1 r square cos square alpha plus equation 2 r square sin square alpha equals to 2 square plus 3 square Okay, factorize r square. So, cos square alpha plus sine square alpha equals to 4 plus 9. So, we get 13. Okay, so r square times 1. So, r square times 1 equals to 13. Okay, so r equals to square root 13 where r more than more than 0 ok ok so find the answer for Two cos theta, two cos theta plus three sine theta is equals to square root thirteen cos theta minus fifty six point three one degree. Another equation, okay, another equation, solve 2 cos theta plus 3 sin theta equals to, equals to 1. Okay, so, 2 cos theta plus 3 sin theta equals to 1. So, for this, we change to square root 13 cos theta minus 56.31 degree is equal to, equals to 1. Okay. Simplify. Cos theta minus 56.31 degree equals to 1 over square root 13. Okay. So, for continue to find theta between 0 degree and 360 degree we use four step for step number one okay for step number one okay step number one theta must be between zero degree and 360 degree okay but now we have theta minus 55.31 degree okay so this theta between negative 56.31 Three one degree and four hundred sixteen point three one degree. Okay, and then step number two.
Okay. Step number two. Cos theta minus 56.31 degree equals to 1 over set square root 13. Okay. So, positive. Okay. Positive. So, cos positive Okay, class. Cos positive. Okay, cos positive is in first and fourth. First quadrant and fourth quadrant. Okay, first quadrant and fourth quadrant. Okay, so now we find basic angle for alpha. So step number three, the basic angle, basic angle alpha is equals to shift cos 1 over square root 13. So alpha, we get 73.19 degree. Okay. So alpha for first and fourth quadrant is 73.19 degree. Okay. Last step. Okay. So, for the last step, we want to find theta minus 56.31 degree. Okay. So, Quadrant 1, okay, first quadrant, okay, first quadrant, uh, basic angle same as the, uh, the angle for theta minus 56.31 degree. And fourth quadrant, okay, for fourth quadrant, 360 degree minus 73.90 degree. So, you can get, simplify, 73.90 degree and Eight six point one zero degree. Okay, so simplify. Okay, angle for theta seventy three point nine zero degree plus fifty six point three one degree. So we get one hundred and 30.21 degree okay for 286.10 degree plus 59.31 degree we get 342.41 degree so this angle still in Theta between 0 degree and 360 degree.